The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gathered the people to lead them in salah. He led them in salah al dhuhr As soon as the prayer had finished, he returned back to the member. He then stood and addressed the people, Ya ayyuhal nas, O people, I am requesting from you all, if there is anyone who has anything upon me, then come and take it from me. If there is any money that I owe to anyone, then please take it from me now. If I have hurt anyone, or if I have cursed anyone, or if I have been wrong to anyone, or if I have oppressed anyone, or I have hit anyone, then take your recompense now, take it from me now. And he repeated this again and again and again. The narrations in the books of Hadith and history are many about what happened at this moment in time. One of them, which is not so strong, but strong enough to give an indication. Narrated in the Majma of uh, the Majma Zawaid of Al Haytami, he said that one man stood up. He said, Ya Rasulullah, I need to take recompense from you in one thing. The people turned around. They looked at this elderly man. They recognized him as Rukasha. Rukasha ibn, ibn, ibn Wahsan al Asadi, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. They were shocked. They were shocked because this is no normal small fry. This is one of the mighty companions, one of the senior companions. Ya Rasulullah, on the day of Badr, when you were making the sufuf, you were straightening the lines and you took your stick to straighten the lines and you pushed me back and you hurt my chest. You pushed me back with your stick and you hurt my chest. Ya Rasulullah, I only stand up now because you have asked for it three times. Ya Rasulullah, I want to take back what is my haqq. The companions were beside themselves. In all of these narrations, you will see, regardless of their weakness, in Abu Bakr al-Siddiq stands up, Umar stands up, Sayyidina Ali stands up. One by one, we will take it out on me, 10 times on me, 100 times on me, any money you wish. Please don't go to the Prophet Sallallahu what are you doing? One by one, one by one, each time the Prophet Sallallahu is saying, Hey, to Sayyidina Ali, your position with me is well known. You don't need to prove anything to me. Hey, Hassan Hussein, you're okay with me. I know your position. You don't need to prove anything to me. This is fine. This is what we need to do. Go and bring that stick. Go and bring my stick. The stick was brought. The companions were... What's going on? The stick was given to Ukasha. Ukasha came forward to the Prophet Sallallahu the Prophet Sallallahu opened up his shirt and exposed his chest. Urkasha took the stick and he came to the Prophet Sallallahu and he threw it to the side and then he kissed the chest of the Prophet Sallallahu He kissed the chest of the Prophet Sallallahu He said, Ya Rasulullah, I only stood up because I wanted this to be the final ahad between us. I wanted this to be the final thing between us. I just took my opportunity, Urkasha. Ukasha, the giant of the companions. Ukasha, who has already forgiven his sins because he was at Badr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already told him, do what you want. I have forgiven you what you want to do anyway, so go ahead and do anything. Ukasha, who stood by the Prophet sallallahu and fought by his side so fiercely that he broke his sword into so many pieces. And he still tried to defend the Prophet sallallahu He said, Ya Rasulullah, my sword is broken. The Prophet sallallahu gave him a branch, a branch, a piece of wood. He said, take this. He didn't question him once. He took the branch and he used a piece of wood against other people's swords. And from the mu'ijaza of a Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa this branch turned into a sword. The sword of Ukasha, which the scholars gave a name to Al-Aun. And he continued to defend the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa with that sword in Al-Badr. And he continued to use it for the sake of the Muslims, until he himself was killed, shaheed, at the battle of Ar-Ridda with Sayyidina Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu an. This is Ukasha. Ukasha, one of the mighty people who goes to heaven like, bam, like that. He has a path to heaven that we can only dream of, that the companions can only dream of. The Prophet sallallahu in Bukhari said, 70,000 members of my ummah will enter jannah without hisab without azab no questioning no punishment this green card goes straight through while the companions are thinking how does one do that the prophet sallallahu said these are the people who have that perfect tawakkul in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala perfect trust the companions are now trying to work it out how does one get that what does one do how what's the levels required and what actions Ukasha is like, you know what, you don't think about this. Ya Rasulullah, 
pray to Allah, do Allah, and ja'ali minhum. Make this dua to Allah that He makes me from one of these 70,000. Anta minhum, ya Ukasha. You are from them. You are from them. He's already been given it. And as I said to you, the rest of the companions can only dream. Because when another one stood up, he said, Ya Rasulullah, and me as well, huh? Sorry, Ukash, I got there before you, my friend. And he has. Ukasha. He has got there before all of us. This is Ukasha.